What's up guys, this is Jerry from JAZ, and today we are just going to be chilling and buying and selling and trading cards. So I'm going to wait for a couple of people to hop on here. Usually the first people are either Evan or Dante. Um, Evan is on here, of course. Um, what is up, Evan? How was your baseball practice yesterday? Sounds fun. Just Evan is on here right now. Good, but it was really hot. Yeah, right here, right now, it's uh, it's pretty cold actually. Um, be a pretty good weather to do some uh baseball practice or and stuff. I just had basketball camp, so and it's indoors, so the I don't really know what it feels like outside. Because, you know, I'm in, inside all day. Have any cards you want to see? I could show you some stuff. Dante, what is up? Again, the guys that are always here. Just looking at this card. Um, it's a pretty cool card. It's a uh, Olympic relic. Nick Gopper. It's, it's kind of cool, actually. I like it. N.A. Acuna or Albies. Yes. I'll show you that now. Ah. Archives fell down. If any of you guys saw MP Fox's video in my video, he hit a 4-4 um, Yankees Allen and Ginter auto. Bernie Williams, I hit a 4-5 Yankees Allen and Ginter's auto. Um, of, uh, I think it was, yeah, uh, Hadiki Matsui. So let me find my Acuna and Albies. Um, here's my Acuna Jr. rookie card. Pretty classic card. Really like this one. Um, pretty untradeable for me. Big Country Spielhouse. We're trying to make a big trade, but I he really wants this card, and I really don't want to give it up. I have the I have this uh, rookie cup card. Oh my god! Here's an Albies rookie. I have a bunch of these. This guy's pretty good. I, I don't. I wouldn't say he's great. I think he has potential to be a solid player. Um, and we have another. We have a, another Albies in there. I'm gonna sleeve up this uh, Olympic relic. I think this must be his like sock or something. You know what? Actually, I might leave it unsleeved. Ah. You said same? Same for what? I think my chat might be a little delayed. Oh, it's sleeved. It's not in great condition, but I just think it's a pretty cool card to see. I have a lot of Albies rookies. Yeah, I felt like he was an easy rookie to pull. I couldn't hit any Acunas. I hit that one. I got no Sotos. I did get a ton of Otanis. Like, like four or five Otanis. Then I have a bunch of, I found actually some really nice cards. I'm going to actually, I'll show you guys now. 
in my collection, my 2013 complete set, I, f I think I found four cards that I sleeved and top loaded. Let me find them for you guys. There was a. Uh, let me find these. Okay. So, who was it? It was. I think it was just. A, oh my god. I think it was just a. Uh, maybe three cards? Where's the LA? Where's I, I alphabetic I do my teams alphabetically. It's kinda hard to find though. Ah, here we go. So we had this uh where is it? Here's what we found. Um, I found I think there were a couple of more cards here. I think this is it. I feel like I found another one, but I found a Hyunjin Ru Ryu rookie card. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of sodas. Yeah, I feel like he was hard to pull. Hyunjin Ru rookie card. I might just sell this straight up because I don't think he's going to get much better. So I feel like this is the time to sell it. Then we have a complete sets variation rookie of Ryu, which is not bad. I didn't know this card was in the league since 2012 when this was when this card was produced. It's it's actually pretty surprising. I thought that he was here, here like 18. Then this is probably the best card I found. Mike Trout at 2012 AL rookie. Rookie of the Year. So this is a nice card. Um, I sleeve that up, of course. Um, and then I know I pulled another card. I just don't know where I put it. So now I have the Trout Cup card. And I have the Trout Rookie of the Year card. So none of those are bad. Um, I'm actually going to keep these reused uh, right here so I can quickly... Uh, um, Google the value of them. What do you guys think of the, the new Allen and Ginter and Optic? I'm going to be trying to do my first opening of that. Um, tomorrow. A pack of Optic and a pack of Allen and Ginters. What do you guys think of those? I have a Anthony Rizzo and Nolan Arnada rookie cards. Nice. Those are really nice cards. I do not have a Rizzo rookie card. I really, really want one. I remember when I was younger, a kid had all these 2012 cards. And he had like a whole box of them. And he didn't I didn't need I didn't want them for some reason because I didn't like the design. You know, six-year-old me was very smart. And um so I didn't take them. My brother took a couple. Uh, he had he had nothing good, but in that set, I think there was there was a Rizzo rookie card. Like I really wish that I could. Uh, I think he still has them. He only lives right across the street from me, but I really don't know him anymore. So it'd be really awkward to come to his house and say, "Hi, can I have your baseball cards?" So Hyunjin Ryu rookie card. Let's see this. Looks like his base rookie is three, four bucks. Yeah, it's not going for much. It looks like I'm going to look up the complete set variation. Um, going back to the two thousand, the 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 rookie cards. I found I did a trade with Zach from JDZ. My best trades, I think. Um, I acquire for two, for like a Bos a Joey Bosa rookie and like someone else, another football player's rookie card. I got this Nolan Arnada gold rookie card, numbered out of two thirteen. This is a pretty valuable card. Um, I think it goes around a hundred bucks. Really in night in pretty nice condition. Really sweet card. Then I'll show you guys the Matsui that I hit a couple days ago. Four to five there. Nice card. I, I'm looking to trade it. 
Um, because I am not a fan of the Yankees. Um, but if I can't, still a cool card. My lowest numbered card. Complete set variation. Hyunjin Ryu rookie card. Complete sets variation. Yeah, I think the variation, I, uh, it looks like it'll go for six or seven, maybe, at the most. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with these. I'll probably just keep them. Maybe, maybe sell them at one point. Maybe after, if he wins, like, the Cy Young, then I could sell that. That would be a good idea, I think. I could just, uh, if he wins the Cy Young, it would be really hot, so I would sell it. I'll give you guys a little, I'll give you, Evan, a sneak peek of my 200 sub giveaway, the prizes. So in the 200 sub giveaway, you will be getting these four cards and five cards of uh, stars from your favorite team, new and, old, new and old. So you're going to have an Adam Melhuse on-card auto and hand-numbered at a 4,950. Uh, it's going to be top-loaded. They're all going to be like in a big like team bag and sleeved and sent out to you um, if you win. Or I mean, I don't know if you want if you don't want your address out there, uh, you could like donate them. Or I instead I could just I could send them to like the second place winner and uh, like give you a big shout out video instead. Um, Lucatio Relic. This guy is in the majors, I think. Gabe Card says what up? Says what's up? Gabe, what is up? You've been, uh, I think you're a newcomer, a sort of newcomer to my channel. You've been, uh, I've seen you around a lot. Good to see you here. Um, got a Yazier Bello Auto, Bowman Platinum 2012. That's a nice card. Then a Kenyon Martin single diamond jersey card, which is cool. So you'll be getting those. Yeah, that's what I will probably do. Okay, sounds good. Uh... You will still get your fair chance in the giveaway. Everyone, if you guys are not subscribed to Supervisor Turkey, everyone go please check him out. He's awesome. He donated uh he donated uh five he donated donated a bunch of cars just to me, and then he donated the Mel Hughes and the uh, Martin to me. He gave them to me. And uh I'm going to be using them for my giveaway. So, everyone, go subscribe to Roger Tricky. He gave me one of these custom cards that he made. He signed it, and it's numbered at a 20. Pretty cool. He sent me also. Uh, he sent me Chipper Jones Relic Card, which I can show you. Um, he sent me a Craig Kimbrell Rookie Card, which is really cool for me. It's an Allen and Ginter's Relic. It's my only Allen and Ginter's Relic. Um, it's a really cool card. He sent me a Bill Dickey, a bat relic of him, which is cool. And then he sent me a $10 uh, PS4 gift card, which is really cool. I'm either going to – I'm probably going to use it for the show, or if I want to buy a new game, I'll uh, use it toward that. I haven't played the show in a while. We're at almost 15 minutes streaming. Gabe, what's your favorite team? We can look for some cards of them. Oh, Gabe, if you want to trade or anything like that, let me know. Do you like Allen and Ginter? Um, to be honest, no. I think it's really weird. Like, if you're a, if, if you're like a, if you're buying something for a kid, a pack of cards for a kid, that is the wrong way to go. Because no kid wants a card of an egg or a, a piece of a, t-shirt from a uh comedian like that's just kind of weird and i kind of get that it's supposed to be different but it's just so random and like for example like pulling an autograph in top series two or like in bowman is like super exciting and you don't really care who it is but like because you know it's a, it's a major league player they could always get better that could be a really valuable auto um evan said he doesn't like it either um but 
really you're just going to put in Alan Ginter's. I mean, the odds aren't great. The odds are okay. But do you really, I mean, asking you, I just watched Up North Collector's Trip open a hobby box. They got an auto of a guy who runs like a sports memorabilia store in like small town California. It's just like so random and I don't like it. I think it's it's weird. Although I think the designs are the cooler. The design of the card is cool and I definitely want to try and get some of those rip cards just to try it out. I'm actually gonna go on eBay, see how much a twenty nineteen Alan Ginter's rip card is. Two thousand Ah, 2019 Allen and ah, Ginter rip card. I just uh, watched Capital P Cards um, open a rip card. Um, he got a two or three, a one or three metal card um, of Derek Jeter. Hand, I think it was hand numbered. So it looks like. Everything cheapest thing I see is a fifty dollar Chris Bryant super short print, like rip. It's a mini card. You see, if I go and buy now, I go. How much would I go? Like I would pay. I'd pay twenty bucks for it. One rip card that would be sick. Well, they're they're selling a. Uh, Bunch of these ri already ripped cards. I'm gonna look up unripped. I think they're pretty hot right now because it's a new release. Maybe I should wait. Evan, what do you what do you think of uh, the optic? Uh, it looks like everything's ripped. Yep, yeah, everything's ripped. So like I just like when I saw um you think it, the optic is pretty cool yeah I like the optic I think the optic is a re it's like basically the Donruss Chrome I think it's a really nice design I think it's it, it's a really nice feel of the card I just think it's way too expensive it's like for example basketball cards they're just as much as like a pack of the 2019 series two but uh, they're um. You're only getting four cards, which is kind of annoying. Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna be going out to dinner with my grandfather and my uh, parent and my brother and my mom. My dad is on a business trip, um, and I need to go now. So thank you guys for watching, Evan. Uh, it's been fun hanging out with you, and I will see you guys later. Bye.